The Witch Queen is here, and with that comes a lot of newer returning players. So I wanted to take a moment to discuss companion apps, third-party applications that use Bungie's API to enhance your Destiny experience. These apps have a wide variety of uses for every type of player, casual, hardcore, PvE, or PvP, and I highly recommend that everyone makes use of them. Now, there are a couple of categories these apps can fall into. Item management, stat trackers, and community tools or resources. Some of these companions may offer multiple services or combine these categories together, but to start things off, let's take a look at the official Destiny companion app and what it can do. This app is made by Bungie, and it has a wide variety of features. Item management is the most obvious one. Here you can freely swap any of your weapons and armor between your characters and the vault. You can view weapon perks, stats, triumphs, vendor inventories, clan information, and plenty of other things on the app as well as official news and information via Bungie's website. This is an easy place to read the This Week at Bungie article posted every Thursday that provides updates and the state of the game. Highly recommend reading that each week. While in orbit, you can also use the companion app to acquire bounties from vendors without actually visiting them. As far as I'm aware, this is only possible on the official app, but future updates in the API may allow third-party services to do this as well. Other notable features include the Fireteam Finder. Destiny is a big game, and a lot of people don't have friends to play with or just choose to play by themselves. Here, you can make a post requesting teammates for any activity, and people can join you in-game from any platform straight from the app. It may take some time to get used to it, but I'm sure you'll be using this at least a little bit in the future. That isn't everything the official companion can do, but it's a lot of the highlights. Mess around with it, get used to it, and I guarantee you will have a better experience. Everything else I'm going to show from here on out is not made by Bungie, but by fans like you, incredibly dedicated community members who love the game. Because of that, I'm not going to focus on just one app, but would rather give a broad range of suggestions so you can try them out yourself. Let's start with item management services. Most of these should be available on PC, iOS, and Android, but if not, that's perfectly fine to pick the one that suits you best. Should you find yourself not really vibing with the official companion, there are plenty of others that do the same thing and even more. First on our list is Destiny Item Manager, also known as DIM. DIM is probably the most impactful service when it comes to your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay. Available on both PC and mobile, being able to quickly drag and drop gear, create loadouts, filter and search your vault and characters by weapon names, perk names, weapon archetypes, and subtypes, it really has it all. Every time I play Destiny, I always have DIM open in a browser tab for quick loadout adjustments. If you end up not liking DIM for any reason, there are other options you could check out, primarily on mobile. Ishtar Commander and Little Light are my personal backup options, just because I like the layout. Ultimately, it doesn't matter which one you choose to use. You can even use all of them. These are just some of my favorites that I can recommend. Now, let's talk about Stat Tracker services. These are places where you can go, enter someone's Bungie username, usually your own, and view a plethora of stats and statistics about their guardian and accomplishments. First up, Raid and Dungeon Report. These are essentially two sides of the same coin, but let you track your raid and dungeon completions. If you flawless something, when you cleared, how long it took, how many kills, how many deaths, all kinds of neat stuff. There is usually a report-like service for almost each piece of content in the game. Nightfall Report, Crucible Report, Trials Report, and Guardian Report are four more services that do the same thing for their respective content and are incredibly useful. Check them out. Next, we have Community Tools and Resources. If you're looking for API information about weapons, armor, quests, Eververse, whatever, LateGG is your best friend. Recently updated, LateGG has so much value. You can check it for items that have been added into the game, where they're acquired, how many people have it. If it's a gun, you could check community-rated perks for both PvE and PvP, compare it to your own gear to rate the roles you might have, leave weapon reviews, theorycraft, and so much more. It's really all there. LateGG is in my top three most useful tools for Destiny 2. Use it. You won't regret it. If you're looking for information on what's happening on a week-by-week -week or day-by-day -day basis, Today in Destiny is something you'll want to use. A lot of content in Destiny is on some sort of rotation, be it weekly or daily. Today in Destiny tracks all of that and can show you future rotations. This makes it really easy to keep track of triumphs you may be working on that require a long period of commitment. You can even track future Eververse inventories to make managing your Bright Dust purchases that much easier. Before we get to my final mention, I wanted to take a moment to talk about D2 Gunsmith. This website is essentially a place to theorycraft weapon builds. You can search any weapon in the game, old or new, view its perks, pick which ones you might want on a future roll, and kind of build your dream weapon. It's an amazing tool that I use on a daily basis. Destiny has a lot of guns, you gotta keep track of them somehow. And last, but most definitely not least, Ishtar Collective. If you love lore and the story of Destiny, this is the site for you. 
every bit of story information, as far as I'm aware, can be found here. From the Grimmar cards of Destiny 1 to the most recent lore books of Destiny 2, it's all here. And that is all I have for now. There's a lot of different companions people have made, a ton I either didn't list or don't know about. But try them out, and I guarantee you'll find something that you love. But with that being said, my name's Yami, and I'll see you beautiful people next time.